Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, Remember, I always show up right on time. Therefore, keep pushing in prayer, my child, until the breakthrough comes. Yes, I hear your prayers, and I know what is best for you and for your life. Therefore, wait upon me today, because I care for you, my child, and I will give that thing that you have been waiting for at the appointed time. I desire to pour out my spirit upon all flesh, that each may be filled with my spirit, my child. Yes, that I may fill you with my knowledge, my presence, my grace, my love, and all the fruit of the spirit. When you are empty of me, my child, the enemy will send his works, the flesh, to bind and to control your life. See, demons will only enter a person if they are given legal right and when they are not filled with me. See, demons cannot just have dominion over a person's life just because they want to, my child. There are spiritual laws that are in operation in the spiritual realm, my child, and demons have to abide by these laws that are set up by my word. I know it is terrible to see the bad things that happen all around the world each day within this flawed and fallen world, my child. For you see people that will hate, people that will scheme, people that will steal, people that will kill, people that will destroy for their own pleasures, people that will lust after the flesh and everything else just to get what they want. None of these things are from me, my child. Rather, they are from the arch enemy Satan and his minions. But despite the plans of the enemy of your soul to hinder and to destroy you, I am still sovereign and almighty over all things, my child. The devil is a dog that is on a leash, and he can only move as he is released and given legal right to do so. For I will use all the things that even the enemy meant to harm for your benefit today. I will turn it around and use it for your good and my glory. I will turn your situation around just as I did for Joseph who trusted in me and I took him from the pit to the prison to the palace. How much more can I do for you, my child? The enemy may have had bad plans for you, my child, but my plans for you are always good and I am always steps ahead of you and of the enemy. So whatever you are facing today, know that I am bigger. Nothing is ever wasted within your life, my child. So no matter how impossible it may look today, I will never go back on my word for what I said I will do concerning your life. Only I can bandage and heal your wounded life, my child. So allow me to mend you to recovery. It is only I who can breathe a stream of flame that will set your problems on fire and turn them to ashes. Therefore, trust in me today as your problem solver, for I am the great and mighty one in battle who goes before you, who knows the end from the beginning and knows the end of the story. The devil doesn't care how many years that you have been a Christian, my child, or how much you know my word, for he knows and trembles, for he is not scared as long as you don't put your faith into practice in me. Yes, to what you have heard in my word and then apply it in your life. Remember, your life may be the only scripture anyone gets to read in action, my child. Therefore, remember, it is no longer you that live, but it is I that live within you. 
I will give you beauty for ashes and replace your mourning with joy, my child. Therefore, it is time to get your hopes up and your fire back to serve me. For I will do a new thing in you today as you trust in me once more. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Ephesians 5, verse 17 to 20, the Bible says, Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand that the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and in hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. See, as Jesus prepared his disciples for his departure from this earth, Jesus reassured them, telling them that he would send them the Holy Spirit to be with them forever. Not only would the Holy Spirit be with them, as the Lord had been for three and a half years of their public ministry, but he would also be in them. Because according to John 14, verse 16 to 17, it says, And I will pray the Father, and I will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it never sees him nor knows him but you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you and that imagine this and that you would make all the difference because the Holy Spirit is with you as the disciples learn when the promised Holy Spirit came after the Lord's resurrection and ascension that was on the day of Pentecost the church was born hallelujah it was born with flames and tongues of fire where tongues of fire touch the tongues of flesh the bible says that those that are led by the spirit they are the sons of god hallelujah see paul was telling the ephesian church to find freedom to being controlled by the vices of this world, but to be free in the Spirit. When we walk in the Spirit, we walk and are controlled by the Spirit of the living God. See, this is the same message that is for the church of Jesus Christ today. We want to be a church that is led by the Spirit. Therefore, we must yield ourselves to the Spirit of the living God. The Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord, it it prays, it helps us in our weaknesses, it intercedes on our behalf. But before it can intercede on our behalfs, we must submit to God. The Bible says in James 4, 7, submit to God, then resist the devil. We must submit to God, submit to the Spirit of the living God that he may bring us into the perfect will of the Father. Let us pray, Heavenly Saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you to stir up within each of us the fullness of your Holy Spirit. Help us to grow in our relationship with the third person of the Godhead, to live in us. That's right, his power to live in us and to use his gifts as the Spirit gives according to each person. Lord, we thank you today. Lord Jesus, you promised the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in your name, who will teach us all things and remind us of everything that you have said to us and before. Help us to remember Lord, that we don't know anything and we admit it. And that's okay because the Holy Spirit understands all things. Fill us with the Holy Spirit and his understanding of everything that is happening within our lives. Oh, Holy Spirit. Jesus asked the Father to give us the Holy Spirit of truth. According to John 14 verse 17, help us to recognize you in the scriptures. 
open our heart to accept your truths in faith even before we gain the right understanding. Oh, Holy Spirit, Jesus said according to his word in Matthew 13 verse 23, the one who receives the seed that falls on ground, soil, hears the word and understands it. He produces an abundant crop. Be the gardener of our life, Holy Spirit. Nourish the seeds of heaven that you will have already placed within us and make it grow so that your love, your ways and your kingdom will always grow within us and produce much good fruit for others. Oh, Holy Spirit, Jesus said also, according to Luke 12 verse 11, do not worry about how you will defend yourself or what you will say for the Holy Spirit will teach you what to say. Hallelujah. Help us to trust in you always. Help us to remember that you are for us and with us and nothing is impossible and that you'll work in everything according to what is good and right and timely, even if it doesn't seem to be so today. Oh, Holy Spirit, your word says also, according to Matthew 6 verse 33, Jesus said, Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and everything else shall be given to us. Help us to let go of all earthly attachments. Help first for us to recognize, Lord, that we are attached not to the things of this world, but attach us to you and that we may hold your hand and walk away from the things of this world. Give us the determination and the strength to let go so that we have no other gods before you. We only want you. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are the comforter. Help us to let go of the losses within our life. Heal our hearts and help us to face our, Lord, any sinful situation. To feel that genuine sorrowfulness of repentance, Lord, that we may turn from all sins that is not pleasing to you. Oh, Holy Spirit, we ask you, Lord, to come and touch us today and fill us in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus said that he would not leave us orphans, but would send you to us. How often have we wept and complained because it seemed like that you were not with us and that our sorrows and sufferings were too much, but help us to recognize your presence in all situations. Help us to turn to you, Holy Spirit, to find you, for you never leave us nor abandon us. You care even more about us and our problems than we do. You are working a plan for our benefit, to make good come from everything that happens to us and even turning what the enemy meant for harm to turn it around and use for your glory. Oh, Holy Spirit, by the blood of Jesus Christ, we are healed today. By his resurrection, we live in a new life of total unconditional love. Help us to share that healing love with all those around us today. Jesus, you, as Jesus commanded, he said, go into all the world to preach the good news to all creation. Help us to declare the power of the good news of Jesus Christ and send us to where you can use our gifts and our talents to make a difference within this world. Today we come before you, Father, and we thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for what you're doing in this particular hour in the name of Jesus Christ, that every distraction is being removed. Yes, all hindrances are being removed. Anything that would stop them or hindering them from heaven and the rapture, Lord, be removed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we may be counted worthy as that remnant, as that few that you're calling home in this very hour, Lord, that you would, Lord, just come and bless each person. Come and touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Those that need healing, bring healing. Those that need deliverance, bring deliverance today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every hindrance is being removed today. Oh, Holy Spirit. We have our own expectations about what we should and should not do. But we now surrender all of our ideas, our limitations, our preferences and our goals. And fill us today. Fill us, O oh Holy Spirit with all your supernatural gifts. Empower us to accept and to grow in the supernatural life as much as the early church did. We want to walk in the Spirit. We want to be useful. We want to be used by you. We want to go 
where you lead us. Holy Spirit, send us forth, gifted and empowered to make a difference, spreading the good news of Jesus Christ and his forgiveness of all mankind today. Holy Spirit, touch each person. Fill them now. Baptize them with your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch your people, heal them, deliver them in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel by all means. But we uh, have been blocked from there for the next two to three weeks due to censorship. So I encourage you, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram or Rumble. And you can also go to our Telegram page uh, there as well for the uncensored stuff. Uh, and I just encourage you can go to our website, repentancerevival.com. Don't forget, Precious Saints, this weekend, starting tomorrow, is the three-day fasting, which is loosening the bonds of wickedness. Precious saints, it's time for us to loosen the bonds through fasting, which is an excellent means to do so. So I will be going to the prayer mountain and I'll be praying from you uh, from there from tomorrow. So uh, be blessed as you participate. I encourage you to share it with at least seven friends and family members that they may also participate as we're preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Precious saints, we are in the end times. If someone is, doesn't believe we're in the end times, you only have to look at all the uncertainty uh, within the air. Everything has changed. There's an atmosphere change at the moment that knows that we're in that last hour. So I just encourage you to participate. And we can also believe that the breakthroughs will come as we're also praying for our lost loved ones, our marriages, also our preparation for his coming. So I just encourage you today, press in. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for your precious saints. Shalom. Shalom, shalom.